Hello. So, I'm in the second half of the first chapter of John, and here we have the Jews sending priests and Levites to ask John the Baptist who he is and what he's doing. Now, John says that he's not the Christ, but he's the voice that cries in the wilderness and make a straight way for the Lord. And in verse 31, he said that it was to reveal this Christ to Israel that I came baptizing with water. And he says to the priest that about six weeks previously, Jesus had come to him and John had seen the Holy Spirit descend upon him. That must have been a wonderful experience for John because this was the person that John had been sent to prepare Israel for. And at long last, here was the Messiah. So he explains this to the priests. And the very next day, Jesus comes to John and John is able to introduce Jesus to the priests and the Levites. But he also introduces his disciples to Jesus Christ. And these first disciples are Andrew, Peter, Philip, and Philip goes and finds his friend Nathaniel. Now he says to Nathaniel, we have found the one that Moses wrote about in the law. The one whom the prophets wrote, he is Jesus, the son of Joseph, and he's from Nazareth. Now Nathaniel is a little bit concerned about this and he says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Now, he knew that the Messiah had to come from Bethlehem. Nathaniel, it turns out, was very well versed in the scriptures. But Philip says, well, just come and see and see what you think. So they go to Jesus and Jesus, as he sees Nathaniel coming, he says, ah, here's an Israelite who deserves the name. And Nathaniel's name means gift of God. So Jesus said to him, that he saw him, he saw Nathaniel, under the fig tree. Now there must have been something significant about this. Nathaniel was a disciple of John, and he might have been sheltering from the sun under the fig tree and thinking about what John was saying, that the Messiah was going to come, and Nathaniel might have been wondering, well, how is this going to happen? And am I going to be the one that's going to see the Messiah? Possibly, you know, we've no way of knowing exactly. But there was something significant about this fig tree. So Nathaniel immediately says to Jesus Christ, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel, based simply on the fact that Jesus had seen him under this fig tree. And Jesus is surprised and he said, are you believing that I'm the Christ on such small evidence? Well, Nathaniel didn't need very much evidence because he was very well versed in the scriptures. And he knew that this was the Christ and that he was the King of Israel. No one else would know supernaturally where Philip, uh, where Nathaniel was. Sorry. So we're off to a good start. So three days later, they go to a wedding feast in Cana and the whole town has been invited. And of course, they run out of wine. Now, Mary might have been involved in the organising of this wedding. And as any widow would do, she goes to Jesus, her eldest son, with a problem. She says they've got no wine. Now, this would be a problem for the host because it might have been a little bit difficult because people would say, oh, he's um, stingy. He's not provided the hospitality that he should have done. Now, Jesus says, oh, woman, why turn to me? Well, Jesus is not rebuking his mother. It would be against the law for him to do that. But he might have objected, as any son would do with his mother. Oh, do I have to do this? He said, my hour has not yet come to show his glory, possibly. But because his mother has requested it, 
he turns about 120 gallons of water into the best wine. And it says here in verse 11 and 12 that this was the first of the signs given by Jesus. And it says he let his glory be seen. So as we go along with Jesus in his journey, with the disciples following after him, we can go with them and see the glory of Jesus Christ as he develops more miracles for us to wonder at. So a lovely story, that's in the second chapter of John, just the first paragraph there. Thank you for watching today.